passing through is turning into passing by, which I think is going to be really good news for the safety of the travel to any community you're going to, not just locally here, if you're one of those 70 million that are gonna stay within 50 miles, or if you are heading elsewhere in the country, this is not a bad outlook. 805 webcams, again, we're starting to see the sun coming out. Of course, we're losing the hours in the day to see it, but it's gonna be back tomorrow and it's gonna be a big shift here. The rainfall, you can see it tapering here just over the last three hours. Look at the stream in here and it's just withering away. So yes, a few more showers are likely here, especially in northern San Luis Obispo County. We have a lot of low level moisture still there, so the clouds are out there, but the storm timeline doesn't show any other opportunities all the way through the weekend for us. So let's jump into a national look. So where you see the green here, it says little impact. That doesn't mean there's no rain or any snow. It says where are you gonna run into any kind of impact? So the Intermountain West, maybe a little bit around the Denver area and Ohio and Illinois, West Virginia, you can see a little activity on Wednesday. Thursday, it shifts to the Northeast, so Vermont and Maine, New Hampshire, these are places where we could have some high impact weather, but otherwise the West, it's smooth sailing, it looks like. So it looks pretty good as we go past it as well. This is the 101, just monitoring traffic, moving smoothly, temperatures mid 50s to about 60. The winds are fairly light. Now the humidity is up there. We definitely have low clouds around the area. And even later on tonight, low clouds in any interior valley area will be a factor tomorrow morning for the commute as well. Daytime highs mid 50s to the low 60s. Not a lot of town to town variation. Didn't expect it because we all saw the cloud cover. You see all this moisture it's still rushing in here. However, there's high pressure nosing in right here. You can see how the clouds are moving to the south. That is going to block this and turn off this supply here as we go through the overnight and into tomorrow. And you can watch it happening right here on the local modeling. You see how the clouds start dissipating here? Low clouds, sure, but that moisture supply, that atmospheric river cuts off and we actually dry out. So could we see another tenth of an inch to a half? Maybe, but I think we're looking at the low end here, up to a tenth of an inch. I wanted to show you this as well. This is the extended forecast. Watch how that system cuts off, and then with high pressure wedged in here, it's like a force field, just not allowing anything to get in here. Sure, some high clouds, but we've got no rain really in the forecast as we get into December. So this is really, really good news for travel. Not great news for the rainfall supply, and that stuff we'll have to keep an eye on down the road. But let's jump into Wednesday here. Mid 60s are possible. Overnight lows will be fairly mild with all the moisture on the ground. I think we see a lot of lows in the 40s, but daytime highs tomorrow, 60 to 65 across the board. Cooler in the interior valleys, a little warmer in some of the coastal valleys. Santinez Valley community is close to 70 degrees. That might be one of the warmer spots. And the community cast looks great. The weekend looks fantastic, edging our way back towards 70 degrees across all the communities of the Central Coast. This looks really, really good, again, for the safety of travel. But that being said, if you have any concerns at all, hourly, any location you're going, locally, nationally, internationally, our app has you covered. Just type the name of the town in there, you get a free forecast from us.